everybody, you are watching tutorials, my name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this letter Z or letter N in Gride Designer. So let's start with a new document, Alt N or Option N on your Mac and I'm gonna size this document with the website large, this icon. Next I'm gonna show the grid, so head over to the document panel and find the grid, uh, click on the enzymatic grid to introduce introduce the isometric grid and then change the angles um, 1 and 2 to 45 and negative 45 degrees respectively. Then grab the rectangle tool or click R and create rectangle that occupies uh, two cells, two diagonal cells, two blocks and uh, then create a duplicate and move it to the 40 pixels on the right. Then make reduce the size um, as the width of this rectangle on half. So it's now 40 pixels. Let's make the first original rectangle darker by going to the fill menu. And then I'm gonna extend on one half of myself on 20 pixels. I'm gonna extend uh, the width of my second rectangle. We can uh, group them by clicking Ctrl G, comma G, or use your right mouse button key and click group. Uh, next, uh, we need to create a duplicate by dragging while holding Alt or Option key, and uh, then. With this duplicate selected, I'm gonna hold shift and rotate it right on 45 degrees. So make sure that um, it's uh, perfectly aligned with the grid. Uh, also, you can unsnap to full pixel. It's important so you can then uh, snap to the grid more correctly in your situation. Uh, so far so good, I'm gonna navigate with my uh, arrow keys on my uh, keyboard and then I'm gonna extend it here and right here in this area. Of this group, first ungroup this diagonal line, we don't need it anymore, this group, Ctrl Shift G, Command Shift G, first, okay. I think this uh, keyboard shortcuts interfere with my screen recorder. And then let's uh, copy this group, this uh, straight uh, rectangles. And I'm going to position them just like, uh, just here. Then extend the diagonal line up to this uh, point, make it narrower. Make sure it uh, lies on the grid as well. And this line here as well. We almost done. We have uh, our final design. Last but not least, you can increase the uh, height of this part if you wish, if you prefer, uh, uh, to the three uh, cells as well, so it's uh, kind of has a similar width with this dark rectangle, but uh, I think uh, in my opinion it's unnecessary. I'm ready to go to second part, and second part we need to again ungroup Ctrl Shift G, Command Shift G, and select these two rectangles, make sure that uh, they are not inside the group, and go to the modify Path, convert to path. So use the shortcut Ctrl Shift P, Command Shift P. Now grab the subcell tool, click D, and select this um, point in the middle. Uh, it should be two points, by the way, and move it right here. So position it on two cells to the bottom. And then I'm gonna also adjust this cell on my left. 
Uh, so far so good, uh, make the same here, so select these two, holding shift key, then control shift P, command shift P, uh, again, and then let's go to the, and extend it on one cell, and make some adjustments here as well on my right. So it looks decent, uh, last but not least, I'm gonna rotate it on 90 uh, degrees and uh, grab my ruler, so Ctrl Alt R, Command Alt R to show the rulers and then I will uh, grab the vertical line, first I'm gonna align my shape with my grid. And then grab the vertical line and position it here, right in the basement uh, of this uh, rectangle. Then go here and position it here. So uh, in the beginning of this rectangle as well. So this dot and this dot. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the sub-select tool, select all of these dots by drawing my key. And I'm gonna align this dot to this ruler and do the same here, absolutely the same here. Okay, I have some issues because it's still in the group. Make sure that everything is in group uh, to this point. Now select everything and let's go here as well. And now we have a decent letter Z and last but not least we need to introduce uh, some borders so make sure again that everything is ungrouped and uh, then go to the border and other border uh, let's um, <clears throat> leave a default black volume and then increase the border weight to 5 pixels go to the advanced stroke uh, settings let's uh, go and I will show you this icon. And then let's go to the, um, and set the joints to bevel here. It will smooth your uh, corners. It will smooth your connections. Uh, you can also play with the ends as well. So uh, bevel and uh, you can set to, for example, round ends. Let's go further. And further, I will uh, select these two rectangles, uh, this straight horizontal and this diagonal, and go to the unite. So just simply merge them. And select these two as well and merge them as well. So now we, see, we have this letter Z. And last but not least, we can uh, basically uh, change the field uh, values, let's say, uh, to this. I will just drop this. So this is how you can create this letter Z or letter and logo on how you want to use it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to join Gravity Designer Tutorials Group and Gravity Designer Users Group. Join Vitorials.net. Uh, made in list to see more Gravity Designer Tutorials in the near future and have a great day.